Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Vanessa. How are you? Good evening, Vanessa. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. And you? You are the first, the first person who connects. Oh. <laughs> Okay, right now we are only two people and me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. Welcome on board. How was Thank you? Thank you. Um, uh, tiring. <laughs> oh, it's tiring. Okay. Tiring. Well, but the important thing is that you are here. Okay. Yes. So. I'm going to share screen. Let's begin. The others will be joining in a moment. Okay. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Today is September the 2nd. This is the free intermediate two, okay? Tonight, the topic is quantifiers. So we're going to be working on some, any, a, a lot of, how much, how many, okay, and others, okay? So let's begin. In the agenda tonight we have, there is, there are, conversation, it's pretty safe, quantifiers, how much, how many, and the reading, Astoria, okay? The perfect place to live. Okay, so let's begin. The objectives for tonight are to describe your neighborhood, okay? The general topic is neighborhood. So, what do you remember we studied yesterday? Ada Gabriela, what do you remember we studied yesterday? Hello, teacher. <laughs> What do you remember we studied yesterday? I remember that I... Uh, I used the question, use are, are there. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. We were, we were working on the needs and there are describing the neighborhood, right? Yes. That's true. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. How about Don Rafael Dabo? What do you remember we studied last night? Hello, good evening. Good evening, my friend. I remember that uh, we practice there is, there are, one, any, some. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, that is, that is what we described. We described the neighborhood using all of those words. Okay, 
Thank you, my friend. Now let's continue. Let's move on. Tonight, we're going to begin with, where do you prefer to live? Do you prefer to live in a small town, in a small village, or in a big city? And uh, what are the benefits? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's begin asking Crisia. Crisia, where do you prefer to live? In a small town or in a big city? I prefer live in um, a small town. Uh, why? Why, Crisia? Um, because I need privacy. Sí. Yeah. Privacy. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and I don't like uh, ruidoso. You don't like noisy places. Noisy places. Noisy places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Small towns are peaceful, are beautiful. The, the air is fresh, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. I live. Uh, where do you live? In a big city or in a small town? In a small town. In a small town. And it's more beautiful. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. Thank you, Crisia. Thank you very much. Okay. Don Rafael Davu, where do you prefer to live? In a small town or in a big city? I prefer the big city. The big city. Why? Yes. For the big city? Because uh, there is more options to work, to, to buy something to do. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Uh -huh. There are more things to do. Uh -huh. There are more services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Better economy. Oh, yes. A better, a stronger economy because the jobs pay better, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Thank you very much. Vanessa, where do you prefer to live? I prefer to live in a big city. Why? Why do you prefer? To live to, to live in a big city mm, because it's more um, how do you say variedad? There is variety. 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 There is more variety in in places or walking or okay. no new new places <laughs> okay yeah definitely i agree with you okay <laughs> yes yes in general yes okay what are the benefits of living in a big city um the economy okay economy or Mm -hmm. Or um, the how do you say opportunities de empleo? Opportunity job opportunities. Mm -hmm. Job opportunities. Yes, yes. There are more job opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything yes. is clear. Everything is clear. And where do we find uh, more, where do we find better services? In the, in the small town? Yes. Repeat the question, please. Where do we find better services? In a small town or a big city? Thinking about mm. services. Is the pen. Better service. It depends because in 
in a small town is is uh, all is is todo cerca <laughs> sorry near. cerca uh -huh. near near uh -huh. near and in a small town is all near in a big city more opportunities job job opportunities in um, more places to know and work and more gastronomy okay yeah definitely there are more restaurants right mm -hmm. yeah excellent very good thank you very much now let's move in to, okay yes thanks let's move into our lesson tonight number one yesterday we were talking about there is and there are there is one there there isn't any there are some and the purpose was to describe neighborhood today we continue describing our neighborhood and we're going to be saying which of these places we find uh, in our neighborhood. Okay, we have public library, bookstore, restaurant, hotel, airport, coffee shop, bank, dental clinic, shopping mall, supermarket, grocery store, liquor store, ice cream shop, department store, stadium, gym, soccer field, sports complex, university, small stores, here is plural, small stores, school, car workshop, carpentry shop, shoe store, uh, barber shop, beauty salon, city hall, hardware store, music store, electronics store, cinema, bakery, cafeteria, eatery, green grocery store, dairy product store, church, park, recreation center. How are we going to be making the sentences? Okay, here you can see pupuserias. Wow, right? Pupuserias, okay. Now you say, in my neighborhood, there is a pupuseria. Okay, very good. In my neighborhood, there is a gym. I didn't write plurals because uh, you have to use them according to necessity. If you have, for example, in my neighborhood, there are two restaurants, you yeah. make plural, right? Uh, in my neighborhood, there is a sports complex. In my neighborhood, there are two shopping malls, etc. Okay, so you're going to be telling me about your neighborhoods. Volunteers, okay. Who wants to begin? Yes, Claudita. Begin. Okay, in my neighborhood, there is a bank. Okay, excellent. What else? Okay, Noemi. Thank you, Claudita. Thank you very much. In my neighborhood, there are some pupuseria. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, some church, church. Churches. Some also, there are some dental clinic. Okay. And there, there are some gyms too. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you very much. Don Rafael Dabu, tell me, please. In my neighborhood, there is a uh, gas stations. Yes. It, there are some restaurants. Uh -huh. There is a supermarket. Yes. There is uh, a library. Okay. 
that's all. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, Lilian Galvez, please tell us. Okay. In my neighborhood, there is a barber shop. In yep. my neighborhood, there are two uh, church. Two churches. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Only. Only that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Somebody else? Who else would like to share? Don Cesar Oviedo? Do you want to volunteer? <laughs> Can you describe your neighborhood? What services you find in the neighborhood? Yes, Don Luisito, go ahead. Um, in my neighborhood, there is a Shopping mall uh, in my neighborhood, there are uh, two gyms. Okay, excellent. What else? Okay. Thank you, Don Luisito. Thank you very much. Okay, somebody else? Okay, in my neighborhood, there is a barber shop. Yes, there is a barber shop. And in my neighborhood, there are three schools. Three schools. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And in, oh, in my neighborhood, there are a uh, two dental clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Hey, that's all. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Tell me, please. Okay. All right. Thanks. Then, Karina Lisset, please. In my neighborhood, there is a stadium. In my neighborhood, there is a university. In my neighborhood, there are some cafeterias. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, there is a gym. Okay. Yes. And in my neighborhood, there is a stadium. It is a stadium. Okay, excellent. Very good. That's it. Thank you very much, Karina. Thank you very much. All the people, all the volunteers. Yes, Don Cesar Oviedo, please. In my neighborhood. Excuse me, here. In my neighborhood, there is a park. Neighborhood? Neighborhood. 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 In my neighborhood, there is a park. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, there are three churches. Churches? There are three churches. 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 Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, there is a shoe store. Oh, okay. There is a shoe store. Shoe store. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, there are some dairy produce store. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you, thank you very much, Don Cesar. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Okay, let's move on then. See, now in this one, we're going to discuss what things we can do in our neighborhood. Okay, example, 
Can I pay bills in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two banks here. Can I eat out in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two restaurants. You can also change I for you. Can you pay bills in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two banks here. Can you eat out in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two restaurants. So, can I, can you, the one that you prefer, can you mm -hmm, in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two, uh huh, here. Okay. So, we have activities that you can ask about buy books, buy books, buy shoes, watch a soccer game, play soccer, see a movie, study a career, uh, go food shopping, send my children to school, have an ice cream, get a haircut, have my car fixed, buy flowers, eat pizza, buy a cake, rent a car here, well, uh, rent a hotel room, buy bread, buy shoes, or study English. Okay. Karina Lisette, in your neighborhood. Okay, let's see. Can you buy books in your neighborhood? Can you buy books in your neighborhood? No, I can't buy books in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, because the, um, I work. <laughs> There are in bookstores. Ah, there are <laughs> library. There aren't any bookstores. Any library. Uh -huh, because there aren't any bookstores. 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 Uh -huh. Libraries is public yeah. library. You can borrow books there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Karina. Now, can you please ask another another person two questions from YouTube, the ones the activities. And you preferably can you uh, can you rather than can I? Mm -hmm. to, to, uh, two persons. Yes, two people. Mm -hmm. um, Luis Alonso. Okay. Yes, can I? Can I play soccer in your neighborhood? Uh, yes. Uh, there are um, two soccer fields. parks here. And yes, soccer field. Thank uh -huh. you, teacher. Yes, yeah. there are uh, two soccer fields here. here. Excellent, thank you very much. Next. Okay. Yes, thanks. Um, Dagoberto Rodriguez, can I go food shopping in your neighborhood? Yes, there are some food shopping here. Okay, excellent. There are uh, two gross, two grocery stores, or how many? Some. Don't know how many, right? Some grocery stores. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Karina. Thank you very much. Now, Dr. Roberto, can you ask two questions to, okay, one question to a person and one question to another person, please? Uh, okay. uh, Christian Muñoz, can I buy, buy bread in your neighborhood? Yes, there are a lot of buy. There are a lot of bakeries. Bakeries, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Another question. Uh, 
Yolanda Catlú, Canai eh, Rent a Car in Your Neighborhood. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. No, there aren't any. Any. Rentals. Uh, rent. Car rental. Car rent a car. No? Rentals. Car rental in my neighborhood. There are in car rentals in my neighborhood. Okay, thank you. Okay, Dona Yolanda Cativo, can you ask please two people, two questions? First. Uh, Mr. Jose Walter, can I watch a soccer game in your neighborhood? Oh, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. Right. No, you can't. Uh, in that case, you can say, no, you can't, because there aren't any stadiums here. Okay. No, you can't. Okay. Because you say, in the case of yes, it's because you say, yes, there are some. Okay. Can uh, you go shopping in your neighborhood? Yes, there are some stores here. Okay, but can you go shopping in your neighborhood? No, you can't. There aren't any shops or there aren't any stores here. Okay, like that. Okay, thank you very much. Um, next question. Uh, Miss Patricia Nunez, creo. Uh, can I send my daughter to school in your neighborhood? Or Miss Ada Gabriela? Hello. Could you please repeat the question? Uh, can I uh, send my daughter to school in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two schools in your neighborhood. There are two schools here. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Doña Ada Gabriela Rodriguez, please ask two people. You decide. Okay, thank you, Doña Cativo. Thank you very much. So let's see. Please ask two people and two questions. One question per person. Okay. Jose Walter, can I can I pick sign your neighborhood? Can I eat? Eat, eat pizza mm -hmm. in your neighborhood? Yes, they are uh, two pizza. Yeah, okay, there are two pizza restaurants. Thank you. Next question. Florence, can I can I rent a hotel room in your neighborhood? Mm, no, you can't rent a hotel room because mm, in my neighborhood there are there aren't uh -huh. hotels. Excellent. There aren't any hotels. Thank you, Florence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doña Ada Gabriela Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Yes. Okay. So the idea here is, uh, can I borrow books in your neighborhood? You say, no, you can't. There aren't any uh, public libraries here. 
Um, but you say, can I buy shoes in your neighborhood? Yes, there are like three or four shoe, uh, shoe stores here, okay? So that can be an idea. All right, let's move on. Exercise two, conversation. It's pretty safe. It's very safe. It's very safe. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't, in, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alone. I'll call you back later. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I need volunteers for the dialogue. I have uh, Noemi and uh, uh, let me see, Florence. We're going to be, Noemi is going to be Nick and Florence is going to be Pam. Let's begin. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. It's downtown. Downtown. It's the down. It's downtown. Downtown. So it's very convenient. We but know. have a teacher. Okay. Mm. Florence and no. Let's start the game, Florence. Hi, teacher. Florence and Noemi, yes. Yeah, okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there are an excellent. There's an excellent? There's an excellent. Korean mm -hmm. place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I will call you back later. Okay, thank you very much. That's very nice, thanks. Now, Doña Yolanda Cativo and Lilian Galvez. Okay, hmm. let's begin. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? Yes. I love, I love it. Uh, downtown, so it's very convenient. Convenient? Da convenient. Convenient. Uh -huh. Convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no, there is not any. I live in the fifth floor. floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are not many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very soft. All on that my car alarm. I call you back later. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Some words to pay attention to. Downtown. Right. Downtown. Downtown. Convenient. Convenient. And this one, I love it. I love it. Love it. Okay. Downtown. Much noise. Okay. Fifth floor, okay, 
And uh, in fact, in fact, excellent. And Korean, right? Korean place. Parking just, just around the corner, just around the corner. Garages. Okay, much crime, pretty safe, pretty safe. Okay, car alarm, call you back later. Okay, very good. Now, two more volunteers. Yes, Karina and Don Cesar Oviedo. Don Cesar Oviedo is Nick and Karina is Pam. Okay, let's begin. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? It's there smooch out. Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a, pl a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. That's nice, very nice. Okay, the last two volunteers. Okay, Don Dagoberto Rodriguez and uh, Don Luis Alonso. Okay, Don Dagoberto begins. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? Um, I love it. It's downtown, so it's very uh, convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent, uh, an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. I'll I'll call you back later. I'll call I'll call you back later. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, very nice, very good. Now let's move on. Thank you. Let's move on. Exercise three, exercise three. Quantifiers, how many and how much? How many and how much? Study the following examples. Count nouns, okay? We say, are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a few. Are there many restaurants? Yes, mm, you say no, there aren't many. Are there uh, many restaurants? No, there aren't any. Are there any restaurants? No, there are none. There are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Okay, how many count nouns? How many restaurants? How many bookstores? How many coffee shops, etc. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a little. Is there much crime? No, there isn't much. Is there much crime? No, there isn't any. 
Is there much crime? No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot. No, there's a lot of street crime. Okay, so these are some examples with a lot. A lot, figuratively, we can say that a lot is like this, figuratively, and a few would be like this, okay? A lot expresses a big number, a few, a small number, okay? So likewise, a lot, a little, okay? So just to give you an idea. And none is zero. You say, no, there's none, no crime. Are there many restaurants? No, there are none. None is used for count and non-count nouns. No, there are none. How many children do you have? None, none, zero children, no children. Okay, let's see, questions. Give answers to these questions about your neighborhood. Then practice with a partner. Are there any apartment buildings? Okay, talking about your neighborhood, right? Your neighborhood. Are there any apartment buildings? Let's see. In my neighborhood, there are several apartment buildings. How about in your neighborhood? Karina, are there any apartments in your apartment buildings in your neighborhood? No, there aren't any no, apartments. In okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Don Cesar Oviedo, how much traffic is there in your neighborhood? Yes, there are many. Is there, no, there is a lot. How much? There is, there is a lot. There is a lot. Okay. Thank you. Don Luis Alonso, how many dance clubs are there in your neighborhood? Uh, no, there, are, there aren't uh, any dance clubs okay. there aren't in my neighborhood. Any dance club in your neighborhood. Okay. Excellent. Hello. If the question is, are there or is there, you say yes. But if the question is how many, how many or how much, you say a lot, a few, not many, but in these ones, you don't say yes. So how many swimming pools? No, yes, right? You say how many pool, okay. swimming pools are there in your neighborhood? Mm, there are okay, many swimming pools in your neighborhood. Okay, just like that. So let me see, Don Luis Alonso, is there much noise in your neighborhood? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there is. Yes, there is much noise in my neighborhood. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don Dagoberto Rodriguez. How many people are there in your neighborhood? Number five. No, I don't. Hear you. Okay. How many neighbor? No, how many swimming pools are there in your neighborhood? Uh, uh, there are there aren't any swimming pool in my neighborhood. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Noemi, is there much parking space in your neighborhood? Um no, they aren't. No, right, there isn't any parking space, space or there isn't any parking in your neighborhood. Okay, let's see. Florence, how many dance clubs are there in your neighborhood? There are no dance clubs in my neighborhood. There aren't any, okay. Thank you very much. Don Rafael Davu. Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Uh, 
pollution. What is pollution? Contamination. Uh, no. No. No, there isn't. There aren't. There isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. No, there isn't. Okay. Thank you very much. Doña Yolanda Cativo. How much traffic is there in your neighborhood? Uh, there is a lot of traffic in my neighborhood. Okay, thank you very much. Doña, sí. Doña Rosario del Carmen. Yeah. Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Um, no. They are, they are pollution in my neighborhood. Uh, no, there isn't any pollution in your neighborhood. Uh, there are, there no, there isn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. And um, thank you. Let me see. Doña Milagro Mira. Hello, teacher. Are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood? Yes, there are uh, some apartment buildings in my neighborhood. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's move on. We're going to complete, uh, complete the questions with much, many, or any. Okay. Okay, complete the questions with much, many, or any. Let's begin with the first one. Okay, you remember much is used with non-count nouns. Many with count nouns. Any is, is not with how, right? So you don't say how it, no. How much, how many, or is there any? Are there any? Okay, so how do we complete question number one? How um, many traffic? How much? How much, how much, much traffic? traffic. Uh -huh. How much traffic much. is in your neighborhood? Excellent. Traffic is uncountable. Okay, what about how much crime? How much crime? How much crime? Neighborhood. How, many? How, do mm -hmm. How many? How many? How many, many restaurants? restaurants? How many restaurants are there in your neighborhood? Four. How many banks are How many there? Banks? How many banks are there in your neighborhood? Five. How many parking? How many parking? In there in your neighborhood? How much, How much, right? How much parking is there in your neighborhood? Six. How, How much? much? Activity. How much activity is there in your neighborhood? There is activity and activities. Activity is non count, but there is activities. How many activities, right? But this, how much activity is there in your neighborhood? Teacher. Then, about parking, uh, you can uh, count the, the spaces or not? Sure, only that talking about the volume. A volume. We're talking about the general thing. No. Like for example, in time, you can count the months, you can count the years, the days, yet the word time is uncountable. Money, you can count the dollars, the coins, but you say how much money, right? Jewelry, you can count the necklaces, the watches, the rings, so you say how much jewelry. Furniture, you can count the sofas, you can count the chairs, how much uh, furniture, okay? Just the same is parking, okay? Let's see, how about number seven? How do we say in seven? How many? 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 How many
any drugstore. Drug Drugstores are there in your neighborhood. Okay, how about are there a, any, 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 any books? Are there any drugstores near here? Are there any coffee shops around here? Around here? Mm -hmm. Are any, there any, 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 internet, any internet, cafes? internet cafes in town? Okay, excellent. Very good. Number 11. Are there any barber shops? Are there any barber shops in your neighborhood? Excellent. Wonderful. The last one. Are there, any Are there any hospitals around here? Excellent. Very good. Are there any hospitals around here? Okay, wonderful. Did you see? Got them all correct. Now let's move on. Teacher, a high question. Tell me, please, Don Oviedo. Okay. Uh, in United States, not, not in pharmacy or only drugstore, uh, or usually drugstore uh, equal a pharmacy or is different? Okay, let me tell you like this. There are, uh, you, don't, you know that in the United States there are different types of people, right? Some people come from England, other people come from other places. In England, it's more common to hear pharmacy, right? It's more common to hear pharmacy. So in some places in the United States, they also use pharmacy, okay? And drugstores, drugstores, pharmacies. It's like uh, in Argentina, People call the medicine remedios, right? And for us here in, in El Salvador, remedio sounds like uh, something from plants, something the from flowers, right? Uh -huh. And then we say medicine, medicina, rather than remedios. I have to buy medicine, we say. We don't say, the same happens in English. We have the word medication, Okay, and medicine and remedies. But I mean, like I said, remedies, medicine, sometimes some people use them as synonyms. Okay, pharmacy and uh, drugstore are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Thank have, you about information. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue and let's complete, complete the statements with some, one, a, an, or any. Let's see, do you have a book I need? One. Yeah, I need one. Number two, there isn't- Any milk in the bottle? Any milk in the bottle? Any milk in the bottle. Number three, there are- Any Some stores. Some stores in town. Some stores in town. Some stores in town. town. Four, there is the Mexican a. bookstore. An, an excellent bookstore in this excellent. Excellent. An excellent bookstore in this block. I forgot my pen at home. Can you lend me one? One. I don't have any money. Any money. Any money. I need to go to the bank. Seven, is there any food in the house? Any food in the house? I just need some time Sometimes. to figure this out. Some time to figure this out. Nine, there is some ice cream. Some ice cream. Nearby. Ice cream. Nearby. An ice cream near, nearby. nearby. An ice yeah. cream. Near ice cream. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Is there any hospital? Any hospital. hospital nearby? Is there a hospital nearby? I need one. one. I need one. There are some, some, some restaurants. restaurants. Some restaurants in this neighborhood. Number 12. There is a freshly brewed and freshly some freshly brewed coffee in the pot. Teacher, what is freshly brewed? 
newly made, it's okay. fresh, it's new, just out of the oven, no, out of the oven, no, out of the, let's say, burner, <laughs> okay, or out of the pot, that case. Okay, with this one, three, let's get to our last point. Reading the world in one neighborhood. Okay, Astoria, the perfect place to live. Read and number each paragraph next to each idea. So we're going to do that. Okay, we're going to complete this. You can find in Astoria. This is the other exercise we will do. Let's do the reading. Okay. For this, I'm going to move this thing down. Okay. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? Now it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens in New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, some says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, in good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one longtime resident says. Why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, let's see. I would like one volunteer to read number one. Me, teacher? Yes, please, go ahead. The sidewalks are crowned with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian bad band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria. A neighborhood is Queens in New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Mm -hmm. Very good, that's nice. Okay, so from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States, right? Pakistan. Okay. Okay, Doña Yolanda Cativo, please read number two. Uh, the new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Okay, thank you very much. Now, who wants to read number three? Me. Yes, please, go ahead. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe. 
and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one long time resident say. Why live any, anywhere else? Astoria has its own. Very good, thank you very much. Now, three more people and with this, we'll go to the exercise. Okay, who wants to read one volunteer for number one? Okay, let me see. Uh, Doña Rosario del Carmen, number two. And Don Dagoberto Rodriguez, sorry. Doña Rosario del Carmen, number one. Don Dagoberto Rodriguez, number two. And Noemi, number three. Okay, let's begin with number one. Okay, uh, the sidewalks are crowded with Indian women, women. In colorful, in colorful traditional dress, a woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it, is it India, China, Romania? No, it is. No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens in New York City. Astoria once was, was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New, the, uh, but the uh, area is changing, cha, changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Thank you very much. That was very nice. Number okay. two. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like say one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprised that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that make that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many night restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one long time resident said. Why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, let's move to the exercises. Okay. Read the text in number each paragraph next to the idea. The new residents make Astoria a multicultural uh, neighborhood. What paragraph yes. do you think it is? Number? One. Number two, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, numero two. Okay, so number two. Okay, very good. Now, people from all over the world are moving to Astoria. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one, yes. Okay, and obviously the last one is number, number three. <laughs> it gives away, <laughs> I should have added another one. <laughs> Okay, the neighborhood has many good characters. All right, excellent. Now, check the things that you can find in Astoria. I'm going to be putting an X because it's easier to get an X than to be writing something else. Okay, what do you think? 
inexpensive stores? Yes. Yes. So we put an X. -da -da. X. Okay. Big apartments. Mm, I think yes. Yes. Did you yes. Okay. Good schools. Yes, no. Mention, right? No. Mention school. No. 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 Yes, school, no. No. Beautiful vision. No. No. Mention, right? No. No. Great markets? Yes. 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 Because it says fresh, yes. fruit, fresh fruit and vegetables. Okay. Nice restaurant. Yes. 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 Restaurant. Many different cultures. Yes. 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 Interesting old buildings. No. 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 It doesn't say interesting old buildings. No. Good public transportation. Yes. 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 Good public transportation. All right. Excellent. Very good. It's fantastic. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. Okay. You are wonderful. I'm going to be sending you the information as soon as we finish, right? So just in a few minutes. Okay. I appreciate all your participation, all of your support. You are wonderful, my friends. Take care of yourself. Okay. Thank you. Right. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. You too. Happy Take weekend. Care. Yes. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Take care, my friends. Thank you, teacher. Next week. Come. Have a nice week. Bye bye.